Hey loves, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is JD Bermay and I'm back again with another video. I literally just installed this wig for a wig promo that I had to do for TikTok. And I like this color, y'all. Like, y'all let me know how y'all feel about it. Because I've never done, like, red hair before, so... Purr, 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 purr. This vlog is going to be an end of 2023 vlog of me just vlogging the end of 2023, me hanging out with friends, family, enjoying my break. So yeah, today is Wednesday, December 27th, and it's 11.44 right now. I was supposed to leave the house at 11.30, so we gotta go. I'm meeting up with my friend Aaliyah to go to the movies. We're gonna go see Trolls 3. I think it's Trolls 3. Yeah, I love Trolls. T Everyone going to see The Color Purple right now, I'm going to see Trolls. I really love Trolls, but... Um, after that, we're gonna go get food at this ramen spot that I really, really, like, it's a cool concept. So I really wanna go there, and we're gonna go there, and we're gonna try the food, and I hope it's good. This is the outfit I have on. It's just this black bodysuit, which y'all have seen before. This cardigan, and my Uggs in these socks, so. Just a nice little chill fit. I wanted to be comfortable at the movies, but I also wanted to like, you know, look cute. So yeah, I'm about to head to my car so I can head to the movies. I wanted to stop and get snacks, but I don't know if I'm gonna have time to, but I also have to stop and put air in my tire. So yeah, I think I might just see y'all at the movies or if I get snacks, I'll see y'all there. I think I want to go home. Well, actually, no. I have work to do, but I want to watch the previous Trolls movies. It's 318, and we're at this place called Kai, Kai, Ram, Kai Ramen? Kai Ramen? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Is that sure. the name of it? Like, what do you call it? Um, this is how you spell it, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> they coming for your neck right now. There we go. That's that's how you spell it. Y'all, Y'all let me know. The first time I had ramen was on that spring break trip in LA and y'all were there with me. It was disgusting and they still had us pay. No, we didn't even eat it. We had like one spoon. It was disgusting. So hopefully this one's better. What you get from here? I got the ramen bowl last time, but I don't, everything is the same. It's literally the same. It's That was magic. There's no flavor in it, but I was trying to give it. <laughs> I was trying to give it. <laughs> Not to turn into an actor. <gasps> Man, there's no flavor in this. I had one the other day at Planta. It was real good. There's no flavor in this though. Dang. <laughs> Available agent or press one to enter your phone number and receive a call back when the next agent becomes available. I figure out which day I could come in for an appointment for a tire change. A A D E E N. Hey y'all, it's the next day and it's 1.35 p.m. right now and I just got off the phone with the Mercedes-Benz 
car place thingy and I set an appointment for tomorrow to go get this tire changed. I just came from Pet Boys but before that I went to Jiffy Lube and they didn't do any services on Mercedes cars so I went to Pet Boys. They didn't have the same exact tire I needed but they offered to put the spare tire in because that tire that I have in there was literally torn up. Like I was not finna get from A to B no more. And they didn't charge me. I just had to tip him. And then I gave the guy the tip and he was like, you ain't even had to give me this, you just had to give me your number. Sir, I'm already stressed out, please don't. <laughs> Take the money. I literally told him, I said, yeah, you can have the money. He said, oh, so I can't have your number? No. So yeah, that's how my morning has gone going from place to place to fix this dang tire i just want to talk about the pressure of being the responsible daughter y'all like if you're a daughter and you are the responsible one out the bunch of children then you understand my struggle with this it's like as the responsible daughter you're given responsibilities that your other siblings wouldn't have because you're so responsible and you're so grown and you're so mature but sometimes I don't want responsibilities. And it's like, I really love helping my parents out. I love helping my mom out. If she wants someone to go grocery shopping or to go pick this up or to go drop this off. Like, I love helping. I do love helping people. I love helping my mom. I love helping my parents, whatever. Sometimes it's overwhelming. And because you're the responsible daughter and you're so good at managing, parents can sometimes literally like spring so many things on you at once. And it's like, I didn't have this in my schedule. Now it's throwing me off. And I wanna help you, but it's just too much. Like I have to do this and I have to do that and I have to do this and I have to do that. And it comes so last minute. And it's just like, well, what are you doing that you can't do it? I have other things to do. Like I have other plans. I have a life like, ugh. <sighs> and sadly this is a frustration that only the responsible children will have the other children who aren't too responsible they don't have to deal with the pressure of having to do things because the parents don't ever ask them to do nothing so that i don't know that that's make it's making my head hot it's making me very very much stressed out because ugh. on another note y'all today is thursday and this makeup artist reached out to me and she wanted to do my makeup right i told her i'll be back in atlanta from the 17th to january 3rd she was like okay cool we can make something happen she was sending me the makeup looks that she wants to do and i hit her up and said like hey i'm home and she was just like okay so i was just like um okay so then i asked her i was like what day would you want to do and she took a very long time to reply. So I'm sitting over here like, did you want to do my makeup or did I reach out to you to do my makeup? Cause it's giving I reached out to you when you reached out to me. She was like, do you want to do noon on Friday? And I was like, can we do one instead? Then she left me on scene. So I went ahead and scheduled a tire change for nine tomorrow and if she do end up texting me, I'm going to just tell her I made other plans because you didn't seem like you wanted to do this. Like, that doesn't even add up. If you reached out to me to do my makeup, why, why are you dry texting and leaving me on scene when I'm trying to... If you're too busy to do it or you don't want to do it anymore, just say that. But you reached out to me, I didn't reach out to you. It's 1.45 and I haven't ate today, so I think I want to go try this restaurant called Cheddar's. I've been wanting to try Cheddar's since I was in Arizona. I think it's similar to Chili's and I really like Chili's, so hopefully I like Cheddar's too. And I heard about their little honey butter croissants, I really want that. And their spinach and artichoke dip, I really want that. So I think we're going to go to Cheddar's, eat some food, and when I get back home, I have to study for my LSAT. I have to lock in. Hey y'all, so I'm back home and I'm about to get to studying for my LSAT. But before I did that, I wanted to show y'all what I got from Ulta. So I ended up going after I got something to eat. My mom wanted me to put her on to my skincare routine cause she see the girl's skin glowing. She see the girl's skin clearing up. So I bought her some of my skincare items. Got her the Good Molecules Hyaluronic Acid and the Discoloration Serum because she been talking about the dark spots she has on her face and how she wants to clear them up. So I've been using this for like, a minute probably more than a year now so yeah then for myself i finally got my hands on the la roche poussey low hydrating gentle cleanser i'm excited to try this because i really need a new cleanser i really don't have one for like yeah i don't have one so yeah 
also got this NYX Thicket Stick. I got the NYX Butter Gloss. This is literally my favorite, 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 favorite shade. And then I got the NYX Eyeliner, which I use as a lip liner. It's really good. But yeah, y'all, that's what I got. It's time to get into studying mode, so I'm about to get to the books. I'll see y'all later. Hey y'all, I forgot to like update y'all after I left the dealership, but it's 2.39 right now and I'm outside of the Walmart parking, I'm outside of the Walmart parking, I'm outside of the Walmart parking lot. Um, I went in to re-up on my facial cream and I bought one for my mom as well and then I had to buy some chapstick and then I got pizza for dinner later because I just wanted to get something quick and easy. But I'm about to head home and I really need to get something to eat because I haven't ate all day. I'm thinking Zaxby's for real. I've been eating out every day y'all like this week because last week I was really eating in the house but this week I've really been outside as far as like hanging out with friends and stuff so I've been eating out every day i think tomorrow i'm meeting up with one of my friends so we finna go eat out and then on sunday i'm meeting up with some of my cousins so we finna eat out everybody i hang out with want to eat or do an activity that involves eating and it's just like dang but i'm enjoying it though i can't lie but when i do get back to arizona we we back we back to business for sure y'all let me tell y'all this i'm gonna make it quick though y'all remember the makeup stylist makeup hair makeup stylist yeah Y'all remember the makeup stylist I was telling y'all about yesterday? So she left me on red, so I went ahead and booked the 9.30 appointment, as I told y'all, for the car. And it ended up taking a minute, but I was done by like 12.30ish. I would have made it to her on time. But she ended up texting me last night and she said like, okay, yeah, we can do one. So I ended up telling her like, hey, you left me on red for 45 hours. So I did not think you were serious. So I went ahead and booked, booked something to go get my car fixed. And I don't know how long it's going to take, but you know, I think I'll be done in time to drive to you and we can do my makeup. She's like, okay, yeah, cool. Just keep me updated. I was like, cool, great. So this morning I'm keeping her updated. I'm telling her like I brought my flat iron. Um, so I can, you know, do my hair, make it look nice for the content. Obviously, we're creating content for her makeup page and, like, you will want the model's hair done or whatever. So I'm keeping her updated and she texts me, like, probably an hour before the appointment. And she was like, hey, so I did book today, unfortunately, for one. Can we reschedule? I apologize for the inconvenience. Now I feel like you're playing in my face. And I don't like that because we literally like between last night and now you book someone for one when you knew that we scheduled for one and I was keeping you updated make it make sense it don't and on top of that the way she was acting earlier acting like I asked her to do my makeup instead of her asking me to do my makeup it was just it's giving red flags wave the flag the red flag Cause that's what it's giving so yeah i'm gonna just leave it alone it did kind of have me like bothered but it's whatever like i wanted i really wanted to just make new content because y'all know i don't let anyone else touch my face i don't let anyone touch my hair i do it all myself so i thought it would have been you know cute for content but it obviously ain't work out so yeah but we're about to go get some food though okay can i get the four finger um chicken finger plate uh, can I get an Arnold Palmer with light ice? You would think I'm texting a man or something. Whole time, I just told my mom a joke and she laughed, and now I'm laughing. Counts of ten, lions in, speaking with the higher pen. Can't be touched by fire, then. forward to the grown things now. I'm working on them soul things now. Never been a product of a flaw on this environment. Never acted like I'm higher than you, 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 you. And I still pray to God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away. Bust the place, bust the place. No, no, no. Check it out. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh, oh.
Thank you. Run away, run away. As the rebel comes out, then you call, call on me with your deaf ears. Open your mind to the sound of the trumpets. So it is Saturday, December 30th. It is New Year's Eve Eve and it's 944 right now. Just planning out some things for the new year as far as content. I think I want to go ahead and make my workout schedule for at least the first week that I'm going to be back. Or probably the first two weeks I'm going to be back because I get back on Wednesday. Back to Arizona by the way for school. But I get back on Wednesday. I have class on Thursday and i have another appointment on friday and i have my friend's event on saturday so i can still plan the gym for all those days but i also want to get that next week out the way so i can just have it scheduled and whatnot and i only have classes on tuesdays and thursdays next semester which is different from this semester because i had classes wednesdays and fridays so yeah a little switch up but anyways that is not what we're talking about if y'all hear something in the background that's my mom she on the prayer line but yeah i'm literally just getting stuff together for the new year. I updated all of my little folders on Kilo Notes, and I basically like just changed the cover photos of some of them. So I think that was like super cute. It kind of just gave my folders a little glow up. And if you have an iPad y'all, everyone be talking about this other notes app, but I'm telling you, you need to get Kilo Notes because you can have up to I think 15 or 20 notebooks for free without like paying for it. And they come in handy every school year and with planning and with anything else I want to do I just make a notebook today was a little rough y'all I'm not going to lie and I feel like you know today was rough because I'm looking rough and I really need like in 2020 in 2024 I want to stop looking like what I've been through because I be looking like what I've been through if I'm if I'm if I'm going through it mentally I'm gonna look like it and I really need to learn in 2024 to get up do your hair Put on the little lash, get cute. You don't need to look like what you've been through. But one of my goals while I was here on break was to finalize my list of law schools that I'm going to be applying to. And I did that today. And I also studied for my LSAT today. And I like, I be doing the lessons, right? I do the lessons, the practice questions and stuff, but the practice tests are like scheduled every couple lessons that you do. And the practice test just like, had me mad discouraged y'all like i don't think y'all understand how hard the lsat is and the fact that it has nothing to do with law is just crazy to me but i don't know i feel like my whole process with studying for the lsat since this summer has just been kind of discouraging but i'm trying not to dwell on that because at the end of the day like i have good grades i have a good gpa i'm going to write a powerful personal statement so i just really and i have god on my side i have god's favor over everything else I have God's favor so I really just need to remind myself of that and trust that I'm going to end up exactly where I need to be although the LSAT score is important I went down a rabbit hole today and I just started like looking at other people's videos who got like low LSAT scores and it's kind of sad that like I'm already kind of like prepping myself for a low score but like these practice tests I ain't been doing too well y'all and the fact that I only have 35 minutes per section like every time I do the practice test I don't get through them without the 35 seconds being up so I don't know it's just really discouraging but at the end of the day my God is encouraging even though this situation is discouraging so I'm gonna lean on him and do what I can as far as practicing and studying and whatever happens happens and I know that whatever happens God will work out for my good so that's all I'm gonna say about it I'm not gonna sit up here and say too much that's it 
I got a whole bunch of pictures from Pinterest. I got a whole bunch of pictures from Pinterest to make a new vision board. So I think I'm about to do that, and I'm about to do it off camera for real because it's not even the fact that I don't want to show anyone my vision board or nothing like that. It's just the fact that I want to chill out and do it off camera. So I'm gonna see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. It is the last day of the year. A, A. It's December 31st and it's 116 right now. We got some things to do around this house, y'all. Like I have to clean my sheets and then have to clean up my bathroom and take the trash out. But I'm gonna do that when I get back because I really wanted some coffee. So I'm about to go get some coffee from Duncan. Hey, my mama calling me. Hey, girl. Hey, Jay. Say hey to the vlog. Huh? Say hey to the vlog. What is that? Say hey to the vlog. Hey. Hey, Jay. Yes. Um, can you look in the fridge to see if you see burgers? Yeah, we have a pack of burgers. It's, it's like 10 of them. All right, Jay. See you later. All right. I'm about to go to Dunkin' and get some coffee. Oh, you can make coffee at the house. You got cream there. No, and there's the coffee, there's a pot of coffee. No, Why thanks. Are you gonna spend money, girl? No, thanks. Mom's always gonna tell you, make it at home, quit spending money. Like, no, girl, I want my Dunkin'. I honestly haven't had Dunkin' in so long, so we about to get in the car and go. Can I get a small buttery pecan frozen coffee? I'm sorry, but we can't do any frozen. That's fine, because we don't have any of the ingredients. Oh. Can I get the toasted white chocolate um, ice signature latte. What size? A small. Anything else for you today? A side of hash browns, and that'll be it. I'm sorry, but we're not doing any food at the moment. Oh. All right, y'all. I got the drink. This is what it looks like, and it looks really pretty on top. Like, I'm liking that. I've never had this before. They were out of the cookie butter cold brew. They didn't have no food. They were out of the stuff to make frozen coffee. So. I ended up getting this. And I really, really wanted some hash browns because I needed like something. I'm going out later to eat with my cousins, but I just wanted a little something, you know? But my mom bought croissant, so I think I'm gonna just put one in the air fryer when I get back. None too special. None too special for real. I do like the little cinnamon they put on top though. All right, y'all, we're home and look at my croissant. Don't it look so delicious? I just toasted it in the air fryer so it's nice and toasty. I'm about to put some almond butter on it and then I'm about to put some honey. You know what y'all need to try is cashew butter with a toasted croissant. Drizzle that in some honey. Like cashew butter y'all, it's so good. I literally have to leave in less than an hour and I'm sitting over here trying to eat a croissant and some coffee and enjoy my little, my little afternoon. So I'm meeting them at the restaurant at four. I have to leave around three. And then I'll probably come back here for like a couple hours, probably like two hours max, honestly. And then around 8.45 to nine, I'm gonna head to church. Church service starts at 10 and you know, it's gonna be a whole crossover into the new year. So that's gonna be fun. I'm excited for that. So I just know I'm probably gonna shed some tears at that altar. And then I'm gonna come back home Probably do a prayer with my family and my mom's gonna be making soup jumu and some hot chocolate. That's like a Haitian thing. On the new year, we make soup jumu, we make chocolate, we make um, bread or we buy bread to eat with the hot chocolate, but it's a whole thing. It's real good. I'm looking forward to that soup. So yeah, that's how the rest of the day is looking. I lied y'all, this is real good. Like that cinnamon, I think it's like cinnamon and sugar mix, whatever it is, it's real good. Mm. Honestly y'all, let's clap it up for growth, okay? Because I remember when I was younger, like, first of all, my whole family, like, oh, New Year's, we're spending, like, about three days together. Two, we're spending at least two to three days together. We're having a whole sleepover. We're drinking the soup, praying into the New Year, doing all of that. And I used to be so tired of it. I'm like, bruh, like, I would look on Snapchat and see my friends outside partying and stuff. And I'm like, dang, like, I can't wait till I'm older so I don't have to come here and do this with my family. I could be outside on New Year's. And now look at me, now that I got the choice, I'm willingly going to church on New Year's. It's something about starting your new year in prayer, starting your new year in a house of a God, starting your new year in the presence of God. Like, that's something that I would wanna do for life. Like, it's really, why? In the club, why? Drunk on New Year's, why? It don't make sense. Especially since y'all don't got nothing to celebrate. Like, y'all done had a bad year and y'all think alcohol is the way to Way to go, like, no. But we really thank God for growth. 
All right, y'all, it's 2.15. I'm about to finish up this food and go get ready. Thought I was gonna do a full face, but I obviously don't have time to do a full face and my hair, so I'm about to get it together and I'll come back on the camera when we're about to leave. All right, y'all, it's 3.13. I'm running late, but I wanted to show y'all the fits. So I got this top from Shein. I gotta pull it down. And I'm wearing these jeans. Let me see if I can put y'all a little lower. I'm wearing these jeans from Pretty Little Thing and then my Uggs. I kind of feel like the fit don't go together. But then again, I mean, it kind of do. I feel like the shoes throwing it off, but I don't have time to put my boots on because the, bo the boots would actually look very good with this. Should I change? No, I'm not gonna change. Okay, bye y'all. Hey y'all, so I'm at the restaurant with my cousins and my brother. It's 6.02 and I totally forgot to like film anything. So I'm sorry about that, but yeah. <laughs> they want to say hey to y'all. Say hey, Gayla. Hey, say hey, Michael. Hey. Say hey, Rashad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anyways. Yeah, that's that. Hey y'all, so I'm in Walmart right now. My mom asked me to get some table covers for her, so that's what we're doing. I see the table covers. I'm gonna call her and see which one she wants, but I'm pretty sure this will do. And it's a three pack of like white rectangular. I feel like this will work. It'd be the most awkward thing when people don't answer your FaceTime call. Funny me the money, and then I bought it again, and now the gas is pumping. We're all good. We're about to be home, and I'm really only about to be home for a little hour, and then I gotta go back out because we going to the church. We going to the house of the Lord. I'm gonna change into something a little more comfortable because I keep having to like put this down, and I want to be real comfortable during praise and worship. So I already know church is gonna be so fun. I'm already prepared to cry because all the pastor gotta do is remind me. Of 2023 remind me of everything I've been through the tears gonna start falling so yeah I was gonna curl the rest of my hair but I think I might just leave it as is cuz it really don't need nothing else so yeah I'll see y'all when I see y'all getting ready to blow out of proportion all the hell that you faced all the hell that you went through and I want to let you know don't you dare allow how your 2023 determine how you go into your 2024. Don't you dare allow how the enemy hits you in 2023 to determine how you get into 2024.